Hi everyone, this is Diary of a Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. This is a reading surrounding the events of Naya Rivera, who disappeared on Wednesday, July 8th, 2020. Her body was found Monday, July 12th, or excuse me, July 13th, 2020. I wanted to do a reading surrounding Naya's death and the events that were perhaps going on in her life prior to her death. So this is a reading surrounding Naya Riviera, who I believe was 33 years old at the time. Of course, she was a mom to her four-year-old son. So I haven't shuffled the cards. If you're new to my channel, I always begin with the full card on the bottom of the deck. If you don't like the shuffle, you're welcome to skip through. But I just wanted to do a reading on Naya Rivera, who was a child actress. If you all remember... Uh, her starring in shows in the, I believe, the 90s. Uh, she was a child actress as well and was most notably known starring on the show Glee. So let's get into it surrounding Naya Riviera and what was going on in Naya's life prior to her passing, as well as the day of her passing. They're showing me the date of 6-12-2020 which is going up back a month. Uh, something occurred or may have been a major event in Naya's personal life, in her life, about a month ago. They're going back. So they're showing me about a month previous before Naya's passing. So we have a date of June the 12th, 2020. They're also showing me a date going way back, October 15th, 1999. Uh, that was 21 years ago, so that would have put her around the age of 12. Something significant or an event occurred around that time in her life, perhaps. So when I'm showing a date that goes way back, a decade, two decades, that's something very major that occurred in her life uh, that could have been surrounded with some type of trauma or traumatic event that she may have suffered or witnessed at, at or around the age of 12 for Naya. first card we have is the Eight of Cups energy. This is where we are or we have emotionally checked out. This could have even been indicative of emotional abandonment, emotional checkout, 
depression, anxiety, where we isolate, we go within, and we emotionally check out of a situation. So there could have been something prior to Naya's passing, going back to the date of June 12th, 2020, where she decided to check out. This is a lunar card, so this can go back a lunar cycle, meaning one month, okay, or going forward one month. So this is a lunar card for my studies, so something definitely occurred. I feel right off the bat in this reading that something occurred for her a month ago prior to her passing where she was either emotionally checking out from something, someone walked away from her, this could have been in her private life, or there was a type of emotional checkout of some kind. Here we have the Seven of Cups energy. This could have been escapism, confusion, illusion. This also could have been dealing with, uh, perhaps when I see this card, alcoholism, addiction. This is also a card of great confusion, illusion about a situation. The Eight of Swords energy, feeling very trapped, mentally restricted. So she was dealing with the situation, and we're taking a look at Naya's emotional life, her private life, her personal life, what was going on with her prior to her passing. Okay, her passing has been ruled as a drowning. I'm not speculating that this is a suicide. I'm not speculating that there's anyone else involved. I'm looking at what was going on with her prior to her passing or the events in her life. Something was causing her great anxiety. She didn't see herself as the world saw her. She felt very stuck in her surroundings, especially mental entrapment of some kind. A lot of confusion, a lot of illusion going on as well. Five of Rod's energy. This is coming out of the most recent past with Naya. Going back, this could have even been five to six weeks prior to her passing. She had a battle of some kind going on. I don't know the custody arrangements of her son with her previous uh, partner or the son's father, but there was a battle of some kind. This could have been a verbal argument. This is typically with more than one person. This could have been a group of people. in the tower so yeah there was something that erupted five to six weeks I feel before Naya's passing that really erupted that caused conflict chaos there could have been something that just was not stable okay uh, people were very concerned or upset this could have been generated by other people so she was dealing with a lot of conflict with more than one person okay however that applied to her there's definitely something that had erupted in her life page of Ra's energy this could have been her son this is typically fire sign child okay but this also could be very indicative of messages receiving news of some kind with the high priestess energy so this could very much be uh, her son. The, mis the mystery of the child being left on the boat from what we have seen from news outlets, uh, there's great mystery surrounding that. The four-year-old has been questioned by authorities. Uh, the fact that the son was mysteriously left on the boat, this could be validated in the reading right now. And all is not being revealed with the high priestess energy is the keeper of secrets not all is being revealed with this card okay let's go forward move my camera down queen of swords energy i don't know what naya's astrological sign is but the queen of swords could be air sign female libra aquarius gemini however the Queen of Swords energy is one where she's very blunt, direct, kind of emotionless. Uh, doesn't really rule from her heart. She rules more from her head. Very stoic. Okay. So the Queen of Swords could be an indicator of Naya herself. The Six of Cups, we have the past. So there is something attached 
to Naya's past. Now, when I got the date of October 15th, 1999, that's going back almost 21 years ago. That would have put Naya, I believe she's 33, that would have put her around the age of 12. This also could be something that lingered for her going back to her childhood, childhood memories, okay, where it created her personality in some ways as she got older. She became more guarded. She became more protective uh, of herself. And she didn't really mince words with people anymore. She was very straight, direct, blunt. Okay, she had been through a lot. So I feel that there's an attachment with her from the past this could have been her past, her childhood past. This also could have been indicative of an individual or someone from her past as well. Let's see what else the cards have to say. The Six of Swords energy. This is kind of ironic uh, with this card because the Six of Swords is depicting a woman on a boat with a child. Now, the Six of Swords, in this case, in this reading, could literally indicate... Uh, two people on a boat together. This is on can also literally indicate travel by water. Okay, this is coming into the reading. This also can be very indicative of wanting to leave a difficult situation behind. I feel that she was dealing with some type of argumentative type energies. There was a lot of instability in her life with the Tower's energy that had taken place. Okay, she felt very stuck. She felt very trapped, and she was wanting to check out with the Eight of Cups. Let's see what shows up next. The Two of Rods. She was at a crossroads. She was also in a, a stalling pattern. Uh, this also can be very indicative of a waiting period. I feel like she wanted to go. She wanted to escape. She wanted to move forward. But she was unable to. She was locked into something. This also could have been something that she was locked into with custody, child custody, contract, work. But the two of rods essentially is, I'm ready to go into any type of direction, but I can't. I can't move right now. Okay, there's a waiting period, a holding pattern. She wanted to move forward. And there could have been something coming up for her in her life especially within the next two months going into September, that would have had perhaps a major effect on her uh, or her child. So just keep that in mind. We have the Three of Pentacles energy. She wanted to rebuild, start over, restart her life. This is also a card of teamwork. Uh, I feel like she perhaps needed, uh, and perhaps she even did have a great support system, but this is wanting to rebuild, financially rebuild, start over, okay? There's this feeling of wanting to escape or leave a, a really toxic, unstable, uh, unstable, instability, chaos, and something was just holding her in its grip. She couldn't, she couldn't get away from it. So the Three of Pentacles is saying... There is an energy of wanting to rebuild, essentially, with the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe, perhaps, she was wanting to rebuild her career. Okay, Three of Pentacles next to the Eight of Pentacles, wanting to rebuild her career, wanting to restart her career, and something very much attached to work for her as well. The Sun card, here comes success, positivity, and the lovers. So there was a choice. Uh, the choice could have been, when I see the lovers, this can be a relationship, but it can also be a choice of some type. There was, there was great positivity, great success surrounding her. However, from the outside, it may have looked like that, but she was definitely struggling. She was wanting to uh, leave. She was wanting to check out, okay? But there was something where there was a major decision or a major career choice perhaps coming up for her that she just was not seeing the vibrancy of it, if you know what I mean. Here's justice. All right, justice comes in. 
this is wanting this could be something legal so going back to the child I don't know the situation uh, surrounding the child uh, or Naya's private life or if she was married or if there's custody agreement or arrangement or what's going on there but the nine of rods energy so there was there's a sense of wanting to restart wanting to rebuild her career a major crossroads in her life and there's also here the legal system the courts and defense I feel like if she was tied up in some type of custody or battle of some kind, especially surrounding her child, okay, this is battle on the home front. This is also where the foundation is rocky to begin with, okay, and definitely something has just cleared itself away or is wanting to clear itself away. This is defense. This is the wounded warrior close to home. Justice was wanting to write things, okay, but someone was just not having it. Very defensive. Something surrounding the home. Five of Swords energy. We have manipulation at play. She could have been dealing with very maniacal type, uh, manipulative type people, narcissistic type people in her life. Someone who was always trying to t trying to win no matter what the cost was, and here we have the King of Rods. So there could have been a fireside potential male. However, the King of Rods is one who is very, very attention-seeking, very hungry for attention. He likes to be in the spotlight. This also could be a colleague. This could have been a former partner of hers. This could have been someone who she had the child with. I'm not saying that this person has anything to do with her death, but I feel that there was something going on in her private life prior to her passing that was very difficult, okay? As well as other things going on in her life as rebuilding or restarting her career and, and other things. So this King of Rods, he likes to show off. He likes, the, he likes attention, all right? He's very charismatic. So... He, she may have been dealing with this type of person who was very manipulative, this type of energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, and here we have the Queen of Rods. This could be Naya's personality. So, for some reason, we went from the Queen of Rods to the Queen of Swords. Her personality, they're saying, dampened over time. And it could have been because of the, the battle that she was dealing with with others or with a certain individual and the chaotic events that were taking place. And I really feel that there was some type of wanting to leave a situation of some kind. However, she was very stuck, very trapped restricted and confused a lot of illusion and fantasy at play as well so these are the energies that I'm picking up on surrounding Naya Riviera 33 years old who passed in California ruling her death I believe they ruled it a drowning and I just wanted to do a reading surrounding Naya so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already Make sure to like this video, share this video if you're following the events surrounding Naya Riviera. And stay blessed, everyone. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.